Today on Game Pass Daily, we got good and evil coming to Game Pass, an Xbox developer direct in a couple of days, and my thoughts on the surprise game Xbox might show at the event. That and more coming up next. Before we dive into the latest Xbox and Game Pass news, if you enjoy the content, please make sure to like and subscribe. Now, let's talk about the games coming this week to Game Pass. Players join rookie police officer Leon Kennedy and college student Claire Redfield, who are thrust together in a disastrous outbreak in Raccoon City that transformed its population into deadly zombies. Both Leon and Claire have their own separate playable campaigns, allowing players to see the story from both characters' perspectives. The fate of these two fan favorite characters is in the player's hands as they work together to survive to get to the bottom of what is behind the terrifying attack on the city. Resident Evil 2 is available right now on Game Pass for Xbox, PC, and Cloud. A deadly virus engulfs the residents of Raccoon City in September of 1998, plunging the city into chaos as flesh-eating zombies roam the streets for survivors. An unparalleled adrenaline rush, gripping storyline, and unimaginable horrors await you. The genre-defining masterpiece Resident Evil 2 returns, completely rebuilt from the ground up for a deeper narrative experience. Using Capcom's proprietary RE engine, Resident Evil 2 offers a fresh take on the classic survival horror saga with breathtakingly realistic visuals, heart-pounding immersive audio, a new over-the-shoulder camera, and modernized controls on top of gameplay modes from the original game. The time to beat the game is around 8.5 hours for the main storyline and 35 hours for completionists. Next up is a psychological thriller that takes place in Dormont, a small town in the United States. Dormont appears to be a regular and typical American town at first glance. However, it is cursed by a demon who shrouded everything in darkness. Those Who Remain is available right now on Game Pass for Xbox, PC, and Cloud. Most of the town's population has been trapped inside the darkness with no means of escape. Edward Turner is just an ordinary man with a troubled past who arrives in the wrong place at the wrong time. He soon finds out that something is very wrong in Dormont. There are strange creatures roaming in the dark, killing everyone that gets close. The only way to survive is by staying in the light. The danger in the dark is not the only thing at play in Dormont. There are strange portals that emanate a bright light that seem to bring anyone that goes through them to another place, similar yet different, apparently unreal, but very real. Actions taken in one place have repercussions in the other. The time to beat the game is around five and a half hours for the main story and nine hours for completionists. Do you want unparalleled control of your chosen F1 team with rich and detailed management features, a refined racing spectacle, deeper authenticity, and a brand new mode that allows you to rewrite the season of your terms? F1 23 allows you to do just that. Drive every decision and become the best team on the grid across the official 2023 F1 season and beyond. F1 23 comes to Game Pass on Thursday, January 18th for Xbox and Cloud. Featuring new circuits like Las Vegas and a new chapter in the Breaking Point story mode, F1 23 delivers high-speed drama and heated rivalries. Players can earn more rewards in F1 World and can experience the new precision drive technology in action offering controller players more confidence and control in crucial moments. In addition, EA Play members can take advantage of recurring 5,000 XP rewards and a 10% discount on EA digital content, including Bitcoins. The time to beat the game is around 7 hours for the main story and 38 hours for completionists. Turnip Boy is ready to commit more felonies in this comedic action-adventure game with roguelike elements. This time, the career criminal is teaming up with the fearsome Pickled Gang to plan and execute 
the weirdest heist of all time. Turnip Boy Robs a Bank is available on Thursday, January 18th for Xbox, PC, and Cloud. To pull off the perfect heist, you'll need to purchase an array of dangerous and wacky tools from the dark web, including a diamond pickaxe, C4, and a cardboard box? However, bank robbing isn't easy, so be prepared for intense shootouts with security guards, the fuzz, elite SWAT teams, and more. Fight, farm, build, and work alongside mysterious creatures called PALs in this completely new multiplayer open-world survival and crafting game. PAL World comes to Game Pass this Friday, January 19th on Xbox, PC, and Cloud. You can make fun of me all you want and even call this a Pokemon ripoff with guns. I don't care. This game looks like a ton of fun and I'm definitely trying it out. The game has 100 unique PALs that can help you build a home, create factories, and each have their own abilities that can help you along the way. You need electricity for your homestead? You gotta find the right PAL. You need to water and harvest your crops? There's a PAL for that. You can, of course, breed two different PALs together to make a more powerful ultimate killing machine. PAL World also looks to have a good selection of melee weapons as well as a healthy supply of guns on hand. The game allows four-player co-op so you can play with your friends, assuming you have some. The developer did mention that they expect to add more to the game in the future, including different biomes, weapons, and of course, more PALs. Let me know in the comments if I'm alone on this one or if this game looks fire to anyone else. This Thursday, January 18th, Xbox will present another developer direct, which you can watch on the official Xbox YouTube channel or Twitch. The show starts at 3 p.m. Eastern Time or 12 p.m. Pacific and will showcase some great upcoming Xbox games. Presented by the game creators themselves, the Developer Direct offers an in-depth look at upcoming titles, how they're being created, and who's creating them. Machine Games in Sweden, the award-winning studio behind the recent Wolfenstein series, will give us over 10 minutes of game and developer insights into the highly anticipated Indiana Jones game. This will include details about the game's setting and story, how fans will actually play as Indy, additional details from his next globetrotting adventure, and the premiere of the first gameplay trailer. The team at Obsidian will share the first deep dive into the gameplay experience fans can expect in Avowed, their upcoming fantasy action RPG set in the fantastical, vibrant living lands. Learn more about how Obsidian's expertise in building worlds with deep themes and dynamic gameplay come to life in Avowed, where players will have agency to make choices to shape every step of their adventure. Hear from the leads at Oxide Games, a studio founded by veterans of the strategy genre and the creators behind classic strategy titles, including Civilization V as they unveil exclusive new gameplay and share more details about the inspiration, key features, and the road ahead for their upcoming historical grand strategy genre game, Ara History Untold. Then Ninja Theory will take us behind the scenes at their studio in Cambridge to give us some insight on how they are crafting Senua's Saga Hellblade 2. The team will speak to the ambition and meticulous care involved in creating her journey of survival. Hopefully we will finally get a release date for the game. I'm sure most of us are expecting that to happen. Last year's Direct gave us a surprise shadow drop in Hi-Fi Rush from Tango Gameworks. Rumors have been circling that this year we could see another one. Although I do think they will show us a fifth game, I don't think it's gonna be a shadow drop this time around, because in my opinion, you don't want to set that expectation every time for future shows. It's also possible that there is no surprise at all, but if you know me, I like to speculate and have some fun with this sort of thing. Several titles have been mentioned as possibly being the fifth game or that one more thing. Games like Towerborn and Stalker 2 have been suggested, but I think it's going to stay in the realm of first party. This leads me to believe it could be the rumored next game from Double Fine Productions. 
that game is called Kiln. Now, Kiln is a game prototype created by Derek Brand in 2017 during the Amnesia Fortnite at Double Fine. Double Fine drops everything and spends about two weeks feverishly pitching and developing brand new prototypes in a process that they call Amnesia Fortnite. By the way, several of these Amnesia Fortnites have resulted in full-blown games from the studio, so this is not out of the realm of possibility. Also in October of 2022, Microsoft Corporation filed to register a trademark for Kiln. Tim Schafer in the documentary known as Psych Odyssey, which shows the making of Psychonauts 2, discusses pausing development on two different games that were in the works to concentrate on finishing Psychonauts 2. Let's take a listen. We had a big change where we actually paused all development in all of the games, including Derek's game, which is going to be awesome. I was really excited about him doing that game and sad to pause that. And Lee's game that I'm excited about and had to pause that. We brought everybody in the studio back to Psychonauts. In an effort to get Psychonauts done, somewhere near where we want it to get done, we are actually uh, requiring the help of both of our other two projects. It, we are uh, having to pause development on those temporarily while we ask that team to come help us wrap this game up because we really can't uh, crunch the team and we can't move our deadline anymore and we can't cut any more things from the game. We've been documenting as much as we possibly can and uh, we're gonna do some final uh, play tests before we uh, put it to sleep and uh, put it to cryostasis, sleep. yeah, yeah. And, uh, and uh, but yeah, we're just, um, yeah, maybe a couple of people getting some rest and, and uh, uh, looking forward to working on second nuts because it looks amazing. Obviously, when this game comes out, it will look much different with more style and polish. We only have a couple more days to find out if there is going to be a fifth game at the developer direct. I hope you guys are as excited as I am for the future of Xbox, Game Pass, and the entire ecosystem, because things are looking really good for Team Green. Thank you all for watching the video. Make sure to subscribe to Game Pass Daily on YouTube, follow us on Twitter, and join our Discord gaming community.